BGMC. The biblical truth lives here. scriptures foretold of the anointed one, Yeshua HaMashiach. The Messiah Yeshua came to call the people back to the truth of His word and to follow that righteous path. Yeshua then called Jewish men to be His disciples, and after His death and resurrection, those Jewish men told the world about the Jewish Messiah. Now, after 2,000 years, Beth Goyim Messianic Congregation has that same calling of those Jewish men telling all people, both Jew and Gentile, about the proper ancient path, teaching the Route 66 King's Highway from Genesis through to Revelation, and how you need and can get back to the proper roots of the faith and a closer walk with God. Now, let's hear the message. at the movies. <laughs> Nova said to Moshe, go to Pharaoh, for I have made him and his servants hard-hearted so that I can demonstrate these signs of mine among them so that they can tell your son and grandson about what I did to Egypt, Mitzrayim, and about the signs that I demonstrated among them so that you will all know that I am Jehovah. Okay? Uh, I, I really like this picture that we have here. Me gusta esta foto que tenemos aquí. I'm going to blow it up a little bit there. We're supposed to tell our children about the holy days. Estamos supuestos eh, eh, hablarle a nuestros hijos de los días santos. Because it says it there in verse 2. Porque lo dice ahí en versículo 2. We're supposed to tell our son and our grandson. Estamos supuestos decírselo a nuestros hijos oh. y a nuestros nietos. Uh, and in verse 1. En versículo 1. There are these signs that God is going to do to bring us out of bondage. Hay señales que Dios va a hacer para sacarnos de la esclavitud. Okay, he never did this for any other grouping of people. Él nunca ha hecho esto para otro grupo de gente. So to be part of this group, so, excuse me? to be part of this group, para ser parte de este grupo, you should be honored. Debes de ser honrado. That by the blood of Yeshua, que por la sangre de Yeshua, you get to be part of this. Te llegas a ser parte de esto. And this is what's so offensive to God. Y esto lo, eso lo que es ofensivo a Dios. When we do not follow His holy days. Cuando no seguimos sus días santos. Because you know you call yourself a believer. Te, te llamas creyente. But you don't tell your children about the things of God. Pero no le dices a tus hijos de las cosas de Dios. Okay. Um, he also said in here in verse 1. También dijo aquí en versículo 1. That he was going to harden Pharaoh's heart. Que le iba a endurecer el corazón a Pharaoh. Harden is the Hebrew word here, kabed. Eh, eh, endurecer es la palabra hebrea, kabed. Kabed. Okay. It means to make heavy. Significa ser pe este, pesado. Uh, burdensome. Eh, Burden. Car, car, like something is a real como burden. Una carga grande. Okay. What does it What does it mean? ¿Qué significa? To make one's person hard. Pa, pa hacer, Their heart hard. Pa, ¿Qué significa hacer el corazón duro? What do you think, Ruth? What does it mean? El no seguir lo que tiene que hacerse lo, lo que es recto. What do you think, Oscar? How does uh, one become hard-hearted? Hard-hearted. It's like, um, because he's, he's God. Because he's God. Because he's God. That, uh, then why do you have to submit to, to 
Not wanting to submit. No, no, no quieres someter. You're more talking about foreshadow. Yeah. Hard-hearted is different. Eh, duro de corazón es diferente. It's sort of like you tell your kid to take out the garbage. Es como que le dice a tu, tu hijo o hija que saque la basura. And the kid doesn't want to take out the garbage. Y el muchacho no quiere sacar la basura. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, Jesse, you wanted to add a little something from this morning? Well, Jesse. Oops. Go ahead, Jesse. Uh, you got to unmute the, uh, the PowerPoint, uh, the Skype machine. One second, Jesse. Go ahead, Jesse. Um, Hard-hearted means to step when you don't want to listen to anybody else's advice. Hold on a second. I can't hear him. got to be able to hear over the the traveling salesman downstairs. Why do people think that this actually works? Still got to work some technology bugs out here in the education center. I can't. Tristan, uh, can you uh, please make the uh, them louder because that's not, that's not going to feed back or anything. Go ahead, go ahead, Jesse. Go ahead, uh, say it one more time, please. Can you hear me, Cleo? Yeah. Now I can hear Everybody? you. Clear. Now speak loudly, son. Go ahead. Okay, hard-hearted means that you're stubborn, you don't want to listen to anybody else's advice. Que, yes, go ahead. Que el ser duro de corazón es que no le quiere hacer caso a, a, a los demás. Yes, you don't want to listen to anybody's advice. So God is saying here, Pharaoh's not going to listen to me. Dios está diciendo aquí, que el faraón no, te va, no, no, va, no me va a escuchar. Now, how many signs and wonders did God perform? Ben? Ben? Are you sure? I think so, yes. In Egypt? In Egypt. How many signs and wonders? Ten. Ten. Are you sure? Yeah. You're forgetting one before we left. There were 11. Oh, there were 11? Yeah, remember? He had the ten signs and wonders, and then we left with all the money. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. In Espanol, por favor. Había 11 señales que Dios hizo en Egipto. Las 10 plagas, y después nos fuimos con todo el dinero. There was 11 signs. Eran 11 señas. Now, if, so, if somebody, if God were to perform five signs in your life, would you... Would you change? Si Dios hiciera cinco señales en tu vida, ¿cambiará? How many people think we would change if we had five signs? ¿Cuánta gente cree que cambiaríamos si, teni, si, si, si Dios haría cinco señas you en nuestra vida? Carmen, you think we would change? You sure? Now let's ask Jose. Jose's here for the first time. Jose, how many signs do you think we need to have before we change? Jose, ¿cuántas señales cree que necesitamos antes de que cambiemos? <laughs> Everything that God sends. Everything that God sends. How many signs and wonders do you think that's, that's going to be? 
y maravillas creo que eso es verdad. What about you, Ruth? tantas señas a tanta gente y no han cambiado todavía y Okay. Um, How many signs and wonders are there going to be in the book of Revelation? Oh, many. 21. 21. 7 7 7 seals, 7 bowls. Oscar To submit. Okay. We, okay. Van a haber 21 señales en el libro de Apocalipsis. Las siete copas, las siete, los siete sofares y los siete ángeles. Mm -hmm. este, y eso es Kevin. And one of the biggest problems that, hu that humans um, have is to submit and to be obedient. That's it. So God says here in, in number in Exodus 10 verse 1 and 2. And Dios dice aquí en Éxodo 10, 1 y 2. I'm going to demonstrate these signs. Yo voy a demostrar estas señas. And you're going to tell them. Y tú le te, te, y tú lo va te lo va a contar to your generations. A tus generaciones. Because you don't want the generations to forget. Porque no quiere que las generaciones se olviden what God did. lo que Dios hizo. That's what God is telling us to do. Eso es lo que Dios nos manda hacer. And that's why we do the Passover. Y por eso que hacemos la Pascua. Because God does not want, want us to forget. Porque Dios no quiere que nosotros nos olvidemos. Okay, Luke chapter 12, please. Let's Lucas, tie this together. Lucas capítulo 12. Luke Vamos chapter a 12. Esto. Lucas Hallelujah. capítulo 12. Oh, the crying, but it doesn't change. Versículo 8 y 9, right? Yes, Luke 12, verse 8 and 9. Lucas 12, versículos 8 y 9. Luke 12, verse 8 and 9. Lucas 12, versículos 8 y 9. For his people, he says. Luke 12, verse 8 and 9. Did that just go off? Huh? Your battery? Okay, Luke 12, verse 8 and 9. Luke 12, verse 8 and 9. Lucas 12, 8 and 9. Moreover, I tell you, whoever acknowledge me is, acknowledges me in the presence of others, the Son of Man will also acknowledge in the presence of God's angels. But whoever disowns me before others will be disowned before God's angels. So you have to acknowledge what God has done. Tiene que acknowledge. Re reconocer lo que Dios ha hecho. You have to proclaim what he's done. Tiene que proclamar lo que él ha, él ha hecho. Okay. And by doing that, one of the ways we acknowledge the Lord. Y en hacer eso, una de las maneras que reconocemos del Señor. Is by following his holy days. Es seguir sus días santos. For when you don't follow his holy days. Por cuando no sigue sus días santos. You are not acknowledging him. No lo está reconociendo but acknowledging man or the devil. Pero recono estás reconociendo al hombre o al enemigo. Like if you're acknowledging Sunday instead of Saturday. Como si estás reconociendo domingo en vez del de sábado. You are acknowledging the devil over es God. Estás reconociendo al diablo sobre Dios. Because God sanctified the Sabbath. Porque Dios santificó el sábado. Okay. Let's go back now to uh, Exodus 10. Regresemos a Éxodo 10, verse 3, versículo 3. Shemot 10, verse 3. 
Versículo 10, versículo 3. Ben's translating. He can't do the numbers with you tonight. But maybe Tam, maybe uh, um, Brad and Elizabeth could try to do it with you, Michaela. <laughs> <laughs> Are they reading out of the CJB? I don't know. All right, Exodus 10, verse 3. Exodus 10, versículo 3. Ben and Veronica, are you coming to the congregation or no? No. Not good. Huh? Rabbi? Yes? Yes, you don't know what happened today. I mean, it's, uh, it's thing after another one. The pipe in the house exploded. <laughs> the, your pipes in the house exploded again? Yeah, again, yes, again. I think it's time to look for a house closer to the congregation. I think it is, you know. <laughs> so, you know, it happened that it happened like about three in the afternoon. So, uh, wow. I had to take the girls out of the house because you know the the the, uh, the ceiling has started leaking again. So it was a mess. You should have brought no, them think... here to the congregation. Eh? Should have brought them here to the congregation. Well, Edward is not here either because he was coming home to see what was going on, so he didn't have time to load the truck. Like, uh, on time, you know. Okay. You know, anyway. Well, we'll keep that in prayer. Thank you. Exodus 10, verse 3. Moshe and Aaron went to Far in, into Pharaoh and said to him, Here is what Jehovah Elohim, the, the God of the Hebrews, says. How much longer will you refuse to submit to me? Let my people go so that they can worship me. Many times we don't submit to God. Muchas veces no... So, no nos sometemos a Dios. And that's what the world is heading for. Y eso es lo que, eh, eh, ahí es a donde el mundo va. Because we refuse to submit to God. Porque este, ne, negamos someternos a Dios. Okay. Then he turns up the flame. Entonces él, él sube la llama. Or like this picture. O como esta foto. A guy squishing the other man's head. Eh, un hombre le está apretando la cabeza a otro. Until he submits. Hasta que se someta. To his authority. A su autoridad. And here God was making signs and wonders to Pharaoh. Aquí Dios estaba haciendo señas y maravillas a Pharaoh. And also that the people could go and worship. Y también para que la gente puedan ir y adorarlo. And this is what we also need to learn. Y esto es lo que nosotros necesitamos aprender. When you read the book of Revelation, cuando lea el libro del Apocalipsis, the people refuse to submit to God. La 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 gente este no rehusa rehusa rehusan someterse a la voluntad de Dios. Actually, they get angry at God for what's happening. Actualmente se enojan con Dios por lo que está pasando. But God is only performing these signs and wonders Dios solamente está, este, haciendo estas señas y maravillas to allow you to repent para permitirte que te arrepientas because what's going to be worse porque qué va a ser peor is that you're going to end up in hell te vas a encontrarte en el infierno okay now taking this submitting and humbling Tomando este someterse y, y humillarse. Turn to the book of James, Yaakov. Vamos al libro de Santiago. James chapter 4, please. Santiago capítulo 4, versículo 7 al 10. Speaking of Santiago, ¿dónde está tu hijo? Two weeks in a row. What is Junior? James chapter 4, verse 7 through 10. Santiago capítulo 4, versículo 7 al 10. James chapter 4, verse 7 through 10. Therefore, submit to God. Moreover, take a stand against the adversary, and he will flee from you. Come close to God, and he will come close to you. Clean your hands, sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded people. 
wail, mourn, sob. Let your laughter be turned into mourning and your joy into gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he lifts you up. Okay? So here in verse 7, Aquí en versículo siete, Jacob is saying, submit to God. Jacob está diciendo que te sometas a Dios. Um, what does submitting to God mean? ¿Qué significa someterse a Dios? Well, when God says, don't eat the pig, Cuando Dios dice, no te comas cerdo, that means that's forever. Eso significa para siempre. What else could it mean, Adriana, to submit to God? ¿Qué más puede significar? Something specific? But, well, what, like, name me one. Name me one commandment. Excuse me? To keep the Shabbat holy, she said. Keep the Shabbat holy. Mantener el sábado este santo. Carmen, what else would it would be submitting to God? Uh, keep the holy days? Okay, so she's got those two. Well, that clown downstairs thinks he's listening to the word. He doesn't have a Bible? Él no tiene una Biblia. Pero ella era así también. Okay, so James is saying here, Jacob is saying, Jacob está diciendo, submit. Well, what does it mean to submit now that you know the truth? Someterse, que significa someterse ahora que conoce la verdad. Oh. Ser obediente a su palabra. Seguir give me one. Mandamiento. Yeah, give me one. To have him first and overall. Have God first. Ruth, name me a commandment. Not to covet. Not to no, covet. No codiciar. Adultery. Adultery. Stealing, murdering. Robando, Dead matando. Woman. Margarita. 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 <laughs> Look, everybody, doesn't Margarita do a good job even with the lights off? She's in the middle of a haircut when the lights went out. <laughs> Margarita, so what does it mean to submit to God? ¿Qué significa someterse a Dios? 613. 613. Name me, name me uno of 613. To submit to God is to leave the, the worldly life behind. And to, to follow the, the laws of God. Follow the laws of God, which never change. Que, que nunca cambian. Okay, that's the other thing, is that it never changes. Es la otra cosa que nunca cambian. And also in verse 8, he's talking about being double-minded. Y, y como en versículo 8, este, ser este de mente doble. Okay, you can't be that way. No puedes ser así. Or God's going to send signs and wonders in your life. Porque Dios va a mandar, enviar señas y, y maravillas en tu vida. All right, let's go back to Shemot chapter 10, verse 4 and 5. Vamos a Éxodo 10, capítulo 10, versículo 4 y 5. Shemot chapter 10, Vers, eh, Éxodo capítulo 10, verse 4 and 5, versículos 4 y 5. Otherwise, if you refuse to let my people go, tomorrow I will bring locusts into your territory. And one won't be able to see the ground, so completely will the locusts cover it. They will eat anything you still have that escaped the hail, including every tree you have grown in the field. If you look at this picture, it's pretty gross. <laughs> si mira esta 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 foto es un poco da un poco de asco. Okay. Um, that's locusts on the ground here. Esas son langostas en, en that, la tierra. That that person's pushing with that broom. Que la persona está empujando con la escoba. Now what's good about locusts? Que es bueno de, de las langostas. If God sends a, a bunch of locusts during a famine, what's good about that? Si Dios ma envía un, un, un mazo de langostas en, en una hambruna. Que, you, que, can eat, you can eat the locusts, they're kosher. You can eat the you can eat the post the the, the, lo, the locust with some oil, a little a little fire, you know, some chocolate and marshmallows. And you ain't got nothing else to eat. 
I'm you sorry. ain't got nothing else to eat. No tienes nada más de comer. Okay, God might send this to get, keep you alive. Dios puede enviar esto para mantenerte vivo. Okay. Now, this is one of the, this is actual pictures, you know, from Africa. Esta foto es actual de África. When God sent a plague. Cuando Dios mandó una plaga. Now the locusts eat everything. Las langostas se comen todo. They eat everything. Ellos se comen todo. They eat every leaf on every plant. Se comen cada hoja de cada mata. That's why they're so bad. Por eso que son tan malos. Because, yes, Ruth. Yes. Solamente se comen las hojas. Well, they, they bite people too. Ellos también muerden a la gente. But they, they mostly feed on every leafy plant. Mayormente se comen la, todas las matas verdes. Okay. Um, uh, this uh, was one, this was the eighth plague. Esta era la, la, la octava plaga. Okay. Um, where the locusts were, were they were going to finish off everything. Que las langostas se iban a terminar con todo. Now, um, This is after God sent all the other, the seven other plagues. Esto es después que Dios había enviado las otras siete plagas. And this was another God that our God was striking down. Esto era otro Dios este, de Egipto que Dios estaba tumbando. One of the gods of Egypt was Nepri. Uno de los dioses de Egipto era Nepri. Okay. The God of the grain. La, el Dios del grano. <laughs> So these locusts were eating up anything that was left. So estas langosas estaban comiendo lo que había sobrado. Uh, another uh, god that was the god of the crops. Otro este dios de las cosechas. Was Emutet. Era Emutet. Okay. E. Uh, uh, e M U T E T. E M U T E T. Okay, um, and that was the, 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 the God of Egypt that was supposed to be protecting the crop. Ese era uno de, de los dioses de Egipto que estaba supuesto proteger la cosecha. And then another God was Anubis. Y otro dios era Anubis. Uh, the guardian of the field. Eh, el guardián de, de, los, de los pastorales. So what our God was showing. Lo que nuestro dios no estaba, le estaba enseñando. Was that he was above these gods of Egypt. Que él era sobre estos dioses de Egipto. Okay. Uh, now turn to Revelation 9. Ahora vamos a Apocalipsis capítulo 9. Revelation 9. A, 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 Apocalipsis capítulo 9, versículos 2 al 4. Revelation 9, verse 2 through 4. Santiago 4, 7 al 10. 7 al 10. Revelation 9, Apocalipsis 9, versículos 2 al 4. Revelation 9, Apocalipsis 9. Verse 2 through 4. Versículos 2 al 4. He opened the shaft of the abyss, and there went up smoke from the shaft like the smoke of a huge furnace. The sun was darkened, and the sky too. And the smoke from the shaft, then out of the smoke onto the earth came a locust. And they were given the power like the power of scorpions on earth. They were instructed not to harm the grass on the earth, and the green plant or any tree, but only the people who did not have the seal of God on their forehead. Okay? So here, where in Exodus, Aquí, uh, in, uh, como en Exodus, the locusts ate up all the plants. Lo, lo, las langostas se comieron todas las plantas. Now they're going to be striking the humans. Ahora van a estar atacando los humanos. Because the humans are not listening Porque at this los point. No están haciendo caso. You know, God opens up the abyss. He opens up hell. A Dios abre el abismo, abre el infierno. Now the other thing, it's like a scorpion. 
que otra cosa es como un escorpión. The scorpion stings you. El escorpión te puya. And the venom goes in you and it's like this burning thing that goes through your veins. Y el veneno te, el veneno te entra y, y, y es como un quemazón que entre tus venas. And it doesn't stop. Y no para. Okay? So here God is saying, I'm not going to harm the earth now, I'm going to harm the people who don't have my seal on their forehead. Ahora Dios dice aquí que yo no, yo no voy a... a, a a, a lastimar la tierra, sino la, la, las personas que no tiene mi sello. What is the seal on the forehead? ¿Cuál es el sello en, en, en la frente? What is the seal on the forehead? Yod hei vav hei. No, no, the people who have the seal on the forehead, what is that seal? Yod hei vav hei. Well, it's yod hei vav hei. But it says, Kadosh Yehovah. Kadosh Yehovah. Holy to the Lord. Kadosh. Santo Dios. Santo a Dios. Kadosh Yehovah. Ese es la, la, el sello que va a estar en la frente de la gente de Dios. And this is referring back to the high priest. Y esto se refiere al sumo sacerdote. Who on his turban. Que en su turbina. Would have a. Gold plates. Tendría un, un, ¿eh? oh, y, y ¿cómo se dice? Un turbán, turbán, I'm sorry. Okay. And it said, would say, Kadosh Jehovah, holy to the Lord. Y, y tiene un, una, una, una cinta de oro que dice Kadosh a, al Señor. So if you're not, you don't have a mind that's holy to the Lord. So si no tiene una mente que es santo a Dios. If you unfortunately are alive at this point. Si, y, este, y no, unfortunately, desafortunadamente está vivo para este tiempo. You are going to have a serious problem. Vas a tener un problema bien serio. Okay, now going back to uh, Shemot 10, verse 6, Exodus 10. Regresando a Éxodo, capítulo 10, versículo 6. 10, verse 6. Di, capítulo 10, versículo 6. Verse 6. Capítulo 10, versículo 6. Yeah, um, Tammy, you have to be, um, your, your mind must have the mind of God, and that's 613, and following what it says to do. That's how you become holy to the Lord. Exodus 10, verse 6. Exodus 10, versículo 6. They will fill your houses and those of your servants and all the Egyptians. It will be like nothing your fathers. Or their fathers have ever seen since the day they were born until today, and he turned his back and left. This is talking about the locusts. Esto habla de las mangostas. So they're going to fill our houses. Que van a llenar nuestras casas. How would you like that to fill your house? ¿Cómo te gustaría que te llenara la casa? How would you like all these little critters in your house? ¿Cómo te gustaría todos estos insectos en tu casa? In your bed. En tu cama. In your living room. En tu en tu sala. Okay. So the Lord is saying, you know, you don't want to listen to me? Dios está diciendo, no me quiere hacer caso. Uh, and there's going to be, now look at this, this is a lot going back a page. Esto es mucho, este, regresando a esta página. When you look at page four. Te miras al pagin, a la página cuatro. I mean, this is a lot of locusts. Eso es mucha langosta. You know, this, in the picture you're seeing that, that's a lot of flying locusts. En, en, la, en la foto ves muchas langostas volando. But what God is saying in verse six. Pero lo que Dios está diciendo en versículo seis. Is what happened in Egypt is worse than what you're seeing in this picture. Que lo que pasó en Egipto es peor de lo que ves en esta foto. Imagine stepping outside your house and the ground is black but it's moving. Imagínate salir de tu casa y la tierra está negra pero se está moviendo. And you, you, know, you step in crunch. Y te, crunch. Te, <laughs> crunch. Y, te, y pisas y escuchas lo crujiente. And they're flying all around your head. Y te están volando por la cabeza. And in your ears. Y en tus orejas. You know, imagine that. Imagínate eso. All because you don't want to listen. Todo porque no quieres hacer caso. All because you don't want to listen. Todo porque no quieres hacer caso. And all because you had a hard heart. Y todo porque tienes un corazón duro. Now remember, in Egypt there were ten plagues. Acuérdate que en Egipto habían diez plagas. In Revelation there's twenty-one. En Apocalipsis hay veintiuno. 
And that's what we're heading for. Y es, y a eso es lo que nosotros vamos. That's what we're heading for. Ahí es que estamos llegando. 21 of these plagues. 21 plagas. 21. Okay. Uh, now turn to Matthew 10. Vamos a Mateo capítulo 10. Matthew 10. Mateo capítulo 10. Verse 13 through 15. Versículos 13 al 15. Matthew 10, Mateo 10, verse 13 through 15. Capítulo 13 al 15. I mean, verso. <laughs> 13 al 15. Sorry, you know, Big Steve's not here, Little Steve's not here, and Veronica's not here. Or Consuelo, so your fourth string. I don't like you, you know, but whatever. I was hoping to have, like, you know, a translator for two weeks and two weeks and two weeks, but. If, so, if a house, if a home deserves it, let your shalom rest on it. If not, let your shalom return to you. But the people of the house or town will not welcome you or listen to you. Leave it and shake the dust from your feet. Yes, I tell you, it will be more tolerable on the day of judgment for the people of Saddam and Amora than for that town. Because why? They hardened their hearts. Because why? Porque, porque porque ellos este, endurecieron su corazón. Because they hardened their hearts. I'm sorry, I, I, I was reading and I, I couldn't find the words that you just finished saying. Okay, no so problem. I was listening. Okay. Um, it, it's, it's hard getting used to um, when you're actually doing the translation. Um, and this is why we give the truth out to people. Y por eso que compartimos la verdad con la gente. Because God wants people to have the opportunity. Porque Dios quiere que la gente tenga la oportunidad. But many people don't take that opportunity. Pero mucha gente no toma esa oportunidad. And for those people who don't repent. Y para aquellos que no se arrepienten. Like even from Sunday worship. Este, hasta de, de adoración los domingos. I know this is hard to hear. Sé que esto es duro este, escuchar. But you can't say, well, the Jews of Messiah's time were bad. Pero no puedes decir que los judíos en el tiempo de Mesías eran malos. And you say you love Messiah. Y tú dices que amas a Mesías. And do absolutely nothing. Y, ha, y haces absolutamente nada. That Messiah does. Que, mes, que Mesías hace. So God is saying, you know what, on that day. So Dios está diciendo en ese día. He's going to say, well, you know, why didn't you follow my Sabbath? Él va a decir, ¿por qué no seguiste mi sábado? You know, why didn't you do my Passover? ¿Por qué no hiciste mi Pascua? Yeshua himself says, do this in remembrance of me. Yeshua mismo dice, haz esto en memoria de mí. Do what? ¿Hacer qué? Put up a Christmas tree? ¿Poner un árbol de Navidad? Eat bunny eggs? ¿Comer huevitos de conejo? Ham sandwiches? Este, este sándwich de jamón. You know, eat a ham sandwich in remembrance of me. Ah, cómete un sándwich de jamón en, en acorda, este, acordatoria mía. But when we hardened our, our hearts, Pero cuando endurecemos nuestros corazones, God will bring us down. Dios nos este, tum, tumbará. Okay, let's go back to Exodus 10. Regresemos a Exodus capítulo 10. Shemot 10, verse 7. Exodus 10, capítulo 7. Shemot 10, verse 7. Exodus 10, versículo 7. Pharaoh's servant said to him, How much longer must this fellow be a snare for us? Let the people go and worship Jehovah their Elohim. Don't you understand yet that Egypt is being destroyed? See, a lot of times people think we're the problem. Muchas veces la gente cree que nosotros somos el problema. Because we tell them the truth. Porque le decimos la verdad. Now, Pharaoh's servants are finally saying, hey, uh, Pharaoh. Hey, los sirvientes de Faraón le estaban diciendo, oye, Faraón. Uh, Egypt's being destroyed. Egipto se está siendo destruido. Let these people go worship their God. Deja que esta gente vayan y adoren su Dios. But Pharaoh had hardened his heart. Pero Faraón había endurecido su corazón. There are some people that just do not want to listen. Hay gente que, sola, que, que no quieren hacer caso. But it doesn't mean that we don't keep trying. Pero no significa que no seguimos intentando. Okay. So here, now, why a snare? 
¿Por qué una trampa? What's a snare? ¿Qué es una trampa? Let's see. Terry! Terry! Let's see if I can hear you. Terry, what is a snare? Not a drum. No. Let's see. Trampa. You mean like something that catches? Mm -hmm. It's a trap. Uh, a snare is a trap. So what would the trap that, you know, these guys be talking about? What do you think, um, Terry? Well, I don't know because you, you caught me running to another room, so I'm trying to read real quick and catch up. All right. Well, you, you read and I'll ask somebody else. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, I see Dayon. Dayon! Are you there? Dayon? Oh, he hung up. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. All right. Joshua, Joshua Lara, Joshua Lara, are you there? Oh, Dayon's back. Dayon! <laughs> what is a snare? Not a drum. Que es una trampa. Silence. The silence of the lamb. Okay. What about you? Uh, Ruth. Ruth, what's a snare? What, 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 what are these guys saying to Pharaoh? Que están diciendo los siguientes a Pharaoh. No, but, but, the, but, the ser, but the servants are saying Pero lo siguiente están diciendo that Moses is being a snare for que us. Moisés es, es, está haciendo la trampa para nosotros. What does that mean? ¿Qué significa eso? Ben? That um, because, because he keeps coming back and and telling Pharaoh, you know, let my people go, and Pharaoh says no, and the plague comes after him, the servants realize that, hey, if you don't listen to this guy, we're going to get another plague. So, you know, this guy is like being a trap to us. Let the people go so this way we can be in peace. Hey, en español, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> All right. Lo que este, los sirvientes de Faraón están diciendo a Faraón es que Moisés, cada vez que viene... A, a, a pedir este, que deje la gente de Israel que se, que, que se vayan al desierto este, y el faraón dice que no, pues entonces vienen las plagas de Dios y los sirvientes le están diciendo a faraón, oye, este hombre este, eh, you know, trae plagas cada vez que tú dices que no, deja que la gente se vayan al, al, al desierto para adorar su Dios para que no nos vengan más plagas. See, every time Moses came in and said, let, let us go. Cada vez que Moisés vino y, y le pidió que dejara su, su gente ir. And Pharaoh said no. Y Faraón dijo que no. Then another plague came. Entonces vino otra plaga. And it's a lot of times where we don't yield to God. Y es muchas veces cuando nosotros no este, cedemos a Dios. Somebody comes to you. Alguien viene a donde ti. Who, who is walking with the Lord. Que está caminando con, con el Señor. And says, so and so. Y dice, tal y tal. You know, this is what you need to do. Esto es lo que necesitas hacer. And you go, no, 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 that can't be it. Y tú dices, no, eso no puede ser. And then, then something bad happens. Entonces algo malo pasa. Because the Lord is trying to get your attention. Porque el Señor está tratando de agarrar tu atención. Then your friend comes to you again. De, entonces tu amigo viene de nuevo hacia ti. And says, you know, the Lord's trying to talk to you. Y te dice que el Señor está tratando de hablar contigo. Okay. And then... You go, 
And then the guy goes, no, 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 that, that can't be. Y el, 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 el Señor dice, no, 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 eso no puede ser. There can be some people that walk, you know, fine with the Lord. Que hay gente que caminan bien con el Señor. For a couple of weeks. Por un par de semanas. Maybe a month or two. A, tal vez un mes o dos. And then they, get, they hit that bump. Y entonces se, se llegan a un obstáculo. And then God starts smacking them down. Y entonces Dios se empieza a darle pao pao. Because they don't want to listen. Porque no quieren escuchar. They don't want to listen. No quieren escuchar. But God loves them. Pero Dios lo ama. So your words become a snare to them. So entonces tus palabras vienen siendo una trampa para ellos. And as we look here at the mousetrap. Y aquí como vemos a la trampa de ratón. You know, some things could get you dead. Algunas cosas te pueden matar. Like that mouse goes for that food. Como el ratón va para ese, esa comida. That trap comes right down on the back of his neck and kills him. Esa trampa se suelta y le da en, en el cuello y lo mata. Okay. Some people don't die immediately. Alguna gente no mueren inmediatamente. Okay. Now let's see this snare. Ahora vamos a ver la trampa. Turn to Matthew 18, please. Vamos a Mateo 18. Matthew 18. Mateo 18. Verse 7 through 9. Versículo 7 al 9. It's going to have to come on a Sunday. Right at 11. Crank up the music. Please speak up. I have. I have a question. Um, Jehovah has given us a will. Jehovah, Jehovah no da su voluntad. Oh, un, un libre abedrío. Yes. Para hacer decisiones. Aquí leemos que Dios le hizo el corazón duro al faraón. Si eso pasa y Jehová es el mismo ayer, hoy y para siempre. Eso puede estar ocurriendo ahora a mucha gente. Yes, it can. Sí, puede. But do you see the beautifulness of God? Pero tú ves lo, la, lo maravi la, la maravilla de Dios. Pharaoh's servants said, let's let him go. Lo, los sirvientes de Faraón le dijo, deja There, que se vayan. There's always sometimes a person of reason in your home. Hay siempre, este, casi siempre una persona razonable en su casa. There's always a person of reason. Uh, siempre hay una persona de razón. En, you know en why this is happening to us? ¿Sabe por qué esto no está ocurriendo? But then there's a lot of people that don't want to believe. Pero hay mucha gente que no quiere creer. You know, you can, you can point everything out to them. Le puede enseñar todo a ellos. Like what Islam is doing to the world. Como lo que Islam está haciendo <laughs> al mundo. Okay? But they don't want to believe what you're saying to them. Pero no quieren creer lo que le está diciendo. That there's stages of their jihad. Que hay es, etapas a su jihad. Like when they don't have enough people to fight you. Como ellos no tienen suficiente persona para pelear. Their Quran says make friends with them. El Quran dice que hagas amigos con ellos. And as soon as you have enough people, then you go fight them. Y eh, cuando ya tenga suficiente personas, entonces they, lo, lo pelea. Because Islam teaches you to lie. Porque Islam te enseña a mentir. But there's a lot of people that don't want to believe that. Pero hay mucha gente que no quieren creer eso. There's this excellent video I saw today that puts it all together. I'm going to get it up on our website. Hay un video excelente hoy que yo vi que lo, lo, lo pone todo junto. You wanna, I'm going to pop it up on our website. It's lo easy. voy a poner en, en el website. The guy, the guy quotes the Surox, he quotes Muhammad, he shows you what they're doing. El, el, el señor, este, este señor. Oh, oh, verdad, verdad. Este señor este, habla sobre el Corán, sobre el Kirak, sobre las cosas que dice. But it's the same with us. Pero es lo mismo con nosotros. I could tell you that you need to do something. Yo te puedo decir que tienes que hacer algo. And no, I'm not ready to do that. No, pero no estoy preparado para hacer eso. I can't do that. No puedo hacer eso. You know, my family will do, say this to me. No, mi familia me va a decir esto. All right, well, when God comes and smacks you, okay, cuando Dios venga y te discipline, I'm just going to say, hey, I told you so. Yo te voy a decir, hey, te lo dije. I'm just here to bring you the glass of water. Solamente estoy aquí para traerte el vaso de agua. 
Because my, my people have already made the mistakes. Porque mi, mi gente ya han hecho, cometido el error. You know, you try to tell these people downstairs. Trata de decirle a esta gente abajo. You know, Sunday is the wrong day to worship. El domingo es el día equivocado para They'll adorar. be the first people to say Catholics are wrong. Ellos serían los primeros que dicen católicos son equivocados. But they're just Catholics. Pero ellos solamente son católicos. They're just calling themselves something different. Solamente se llaman de otra cosa. They're doing Sunday worship. Why? Están haciendo adoración de domingo. Because the Catholics did it. Porque los católicos lo They're doing Easter when? Están haciendo Easter. When the Catholics tell them to do it. Cuando los católicos le dicen que lo hagan. So it's the same going on here in, in with Pharaoh. Es lo mismo aquí con el faraón. This is why it's here for us to read. Por eso que está aquí para que nosotros leamos. You got all these plagues going on. Tiene todas estas plagas. You finally get somebody to say, let them go. Finalmente tiene alguien que les dice a faraón que lo deje ir. No, we'll catch them. So what? They got a three-day head start. No, so what? Lo cogemos, no sé, si, aunque tengan un avance de tres días. You know, okay. they got women and children. We'll catch them. Tienen mujeres y niños. Lo, lo, lo alcancemos. You know, 600,000 people are easy to follow. 600,000 personas son fácil de seguir. But Pharaoh, he didn't want to, he didn't want to change. Pero pa Faraón no quería cambiar. But God gives information. Pero Dios da información. He chooses not to. Él escogió no. God has hardened his heart. Dios endureció su corazón. But somebody comes to him and said, let them go. Pero alguien vino y le dijo que lo dejara ir. You still see the choice here. Y él puede ver el, este. Because if you look back at. ¿Qué? Él, él podía haber escogido. Look at, for, go back to Exodus. Hold your place in Matthew, but go back to Exodus. Aguanta su lugar en Mateo, pero regresa a Éxodo. Exodus 10, verse 7. Éxodo 10, versículo 7. Why is it there? ¿Por qué está ahí? Pharaoh's servant said to him, how much longer must this fellow be a snare to us? Why is that there? Porque está esto ahí. Yes, God hardened his heart. Sí, Dios endureció su corazón. But why is this line there? Pero por qué está esta línea ahí? Because God is a merciful God. Porque Dios es un Dios de misericordia. He is a merciful, merciful God. Él es un, un Dios misericordioso. But he won't let you get away with it. Pero no, no va a dejar que te, te escape de esto. You know, the, the sheep that goes astray. La oveja que se, se, the se, sheep that se goes aleja. astray. What does Messiah say? ¿Qué dice Mesías? He brings it back. Él lo, él lo regresa. They're terrible tonight, too. Okay? Um, um, yeah, they hurt my feelings, too. They hurt my feelings. Anyway, let's go back to the Word of God. Oh, Matthew 18, please. Ma Mateo 18. I got to decide what we're going to do. Matthew 18, verse 7 through 9. Matthew, uh, Mateo 18, 7, versículo 7 al 9. Because it's not working for Bible study. Two weeks in a row. Matthew 18, verse 7 through 9. Mateo 18, versículo 7 al 9. Woe to the world because of snares. For there must be snares, but woe to the person who sets the snare. So if your hand or foot becomes a snare for you, cut it off and throw it away. Better that you should be maimed or crippled and obtain eternal life and keep both hands or both feet and be thrown into everlasting fire. If your eye is a snare for you, gouge it out and fling it away. Better that you should be one-eyed and obtain eternal life and keep both eyes and be thrown into the fire of Gehenna. So is the Lord really saying cut your hand off? So is, este, el Señor está di diciendo verdaderamente que te corte What do you think, manos? Oscar? ¿Qué tú crees, Oscar? Should we take the circular saw and just... Debemos tomar el, la piedra y cortar nuestra... Eh, dice porque el séptimo mandamiento es no robará. English, por favor. Huh? English, por favor. I he, said not, in, he said it I, in English. I couldn't hear him. Okay, he said that the seventh commandment. I got these froofy heads below me. The I seventh can't. commandment says do not steal. Okay. That's why he says cut your hand off. So do you think it's literal? 
¿Tú crees que es literal? He says yes. What do you think, Ruth? Should we go down there and cut their larynx out of their throats? Es figurativo. Que tiene que realizar que lo que está haciendo es es malo. ¿Y qué de estas trampas que, que, que estamos seven, hablando en versículo 7? It says, woe to the world because of snares, but there must be snares, but woe to the person who sets the snare. What are these snares of the world? ¿Cuáles son estas trampas del mundo? What would be a snare? ¿Qué sería una, una trampa? <laughs> La gente abajo, people downstairs. Well, I mean, it's not a Sabbath. I mean, we're, we're, you know, we're dealing with it, but I mean, it's it's amazing. We were over there, and they didn't do this. Yeah, I know. As soon as we came here, this is just the devil. This is just the devil. No, it's right down. Right, right underneath. Right underneath. Okay. Right underneath. okay. What what would be a, a snare? ¿Qué sería una trampa? The checkout line at the grocery store. La registradora en el supermercado. Veronica, mute, please. I'm sorry. You go into the checkout line. Vas a la registradora. What's on the checkout line? ¿Qué está en la registradora? All those crappy magazines. Todas esas revistas. Temptation. You know. You know, you, the, the National Enquirer, all these gossip magazines. Todas estas revistas de chisme. The candy. Los dulces. <laughs> Why do you think they put it there? ¿Por qué tú crees que lo ponen ahí? Why do you think they put it there? ¿Por qué crees que lo ponen ahí? Because they know they're tempting you. Porque ellos saben, te están tentando. You've been shopping for an hour or two, you're hungry. Estás comprando por una hora o dos, tienes hambre. What, what, what about spiritual snares? What are we talking about here? ¿Y qué de trampas espirituales? What would be a spiritual snare? Vanity. 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 Damn! Vanity. Celo. Jealousy. Codiciar algo que no que 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 no es de uno. Covet, covet something that don't belong to you. Que no son cosas que no son de Dios. Eso es una trampa. El vestido provocativo. Vestido ya vestido provocativo. Ya. Muchas versaderas que hay por ahí. Mucha qué? Jezabel. Oh, the, a lot of Jezebels that are that are out there. Stay off for one and nine. <laughs> okay. So the the world with these snares, we got to try to stay away from them. El mundo con esas trampas tenemos que tratar de de evitarlo. Okay. Uh, let's see what time. All right. Uh, let's move on. Vamos a seguir. To um, Let's go to Exodus. Um, let me see here. Let, I want to move on in the chapter there. Um, um, Exodus 10, verse 13. Exodus 10, versículo 13. Yeah, I'm sorry for those online. I got to try to figure out what to do here. I know it's distracting. The weirdies. I mean, they're not weirdies. They're just trying to worship. They don't know anything about worship. It's not a Shabbat, so we can't really hit, hit them. Exodus 10, Shemot 10, verse 13. Exodus 10, versículo 13. Moshe reached down his staff over the land of Egypt, and Jehovah caused an east wind to blow 
on the land all day and all night. In the morning, the east wind brought the locusts. Okay, so the Lord brings the locusts from the east. So el Señor trae los, las langostas del este. Okay, and it is an, a wind that blows all night long. Y es un viento que sopla la noche entera. And the wind generally represents the Spirit of God. Y el viento normalmente representa el Espíritu de Dios. Because wind in Hebrew is the word ruach. Porque el viento en hebreo es ruach. And it means wind. Y significa viento. Okay. Or a breath. O aliento. So the breath of God blew all night long with these locusts. So el aliento de Dios sopló la noche entera con estas langostas. Now with that understanding. Con ese entendimiento. Turn to Revelation 16. We're going to do for the east. Vamos a Apocalipsis 16. Revelation 16 verse 12. Eh, Apocalipsis 16 versículo 12. Revelation 16, verse 12. Apocalipsis 16, versículo 12. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, guys, online. It's not great here, too, but it's amazing because the Lord is doing something. It's a challenge to see who wants to truly focus in. Revelation 12, uh, 16, verse 12. The sixth one poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates, and the water dried up in order to prepare the way from the kings from the east. Okay? So here, the east is where trouble is going to come from. So, el este es de, eh, de adonde va a venir el, el, el problema. Okay? So, you got Exodus 10, verse 13. The east wind brought the trouble. Tiene Exodus 10, versículo 13. El viento este trajo el problema. Now, from the east, uh, the great river Euphrates was dried up. Y, y aquí en el, el gran río de Eufrates es, es, fue Eufrates. Fue, like it is now. Fue reseco. It's very dry right now. It's at one of its lowest stages. Ahora está bien seco en, en sus etapas más bajas. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's go back to um, Exodus uh, chapter 11. Vamos a Éxodo capítulo 11. Exodus chapter 11, verse 1 and 2. Exodus capítulo 11, versículo 1 y 2. Exodus 11, verse 1 and 2. Exodus 11, versículos 1 y 2. Jehovah said to Moshe, I'm going to bring you still one more plague on Pharaoh in Egypt, and after that he will let you leave here. When he does let you go, he will throw you out completely. Now tell the people that every man is to ask his neighbor, every woman his neighbor, for gold and silver jewelry. Okay, so this is actually going to be the 11th sign. Esto aquí actualmente va a ser la, la señal número 11. Because after the, the, the plague, of the, the death of the firstborn. Porque después de la plaga de la muerte del primogénito. Okay. Um, you know, don't you think it, it's kind of weird? ¿No crees que es extraño? That God said, go ask them for their gold and silver. Que Dios le dijo que le pidiera su oro y su plata. Okay. Why do you think God did that, Adriana? ¿Por qué tú crees que Dios hizo eso? And speak up because you got this chick down there yelling. Well, I, first of all, I think the Lord, uh, Jehovah is God. So he, that they work so hard. They were slaves there. They work so hard. So they deserve, they deserve to have the riches of the land. Que Dios, que, que Dios es un Dios justo y que él como vio que eran esclavos y que trabajaron, trabajaban tan fuerte que ellos se lo merecían. Y número dos, para que tuvieran un punto de comienzo en la tierra prometida. ¿Por qué le dio a Abraham? Y 
una de las promesas que le dio a Abraham y Saco o Jacob que iban a ser bendecidos. But weren't they in slavery because of sin? Pero no estaban en esclavitud por pecado. Sí, tiene razón. What do you think, Carmen? Speak up because if Gideon's because of disobedience, can't stop screaming. Because of disobedience, she says. Well, they were, but then why is God giving us their money? Porque entonces, ¿por qué Dios nos está dando su dinero? El dinero de ellos. Porque ellos van a usar el oro y, y la plata para todo el equipo del tabernáculo. Well, you're both right. Porque hicieron le, eh, la, el deseo. Now, why are you both right? ¿Y por qué están los dos correctos? They use it for bad, but then they use it for good. Lo usan para, para el mal, y, pero después lo usan para el bien. Cuando construyeron el becerro, Moshe lo, lo destruyó. He pounded it into dust. El, Now they made him drink it. Lo, lo hicieron que se lo tomaran. No, what they didn't use all of it. No, pero ellos no usaron todo el oro. Para what is this saying? ¿Qué está diciendo esto? What is God saying? ¿Qué está diciendo Dios? You were a slave. Tú fuiste esclavo. But now God is, is reward, he's going to restore to you the years the locusts have eaten. Pero Dios te va a restaurar a ti lo, lo, las langostas de Edén. Well, the, Joel 2. The, lo, the locusts have eaten? Yes. Okay. Lo que, no, la, las langostas del Edén. It says it in Joel. Lo dice en Joel. In Joel. That... God is going to restore to you the years the locusts have eaten. Que Dios te va a restaurar lo, a ti los años de las langostas del Edén. When you teshuva back to him. Cuando haces teshuva hacia él, te okay. arrepientas. He's going to restore this wealth. Él te va a restaurar esa riqueza. He's going to restore this wealth. Él te va a restaurar esta riqueza. So now they're leaving Egypt. So ahora está, se están yendo de Egipto. Okay, they've paid their, their time in bondage. Han pagado su tiempo en esclavitud. And now he's going to give to you the wealth of the Goyim. Y ahora te va a dar las riquezas del Goyim. Because of his people. Por, por su gente. And he's going to make them favorable to you. Y él los va a hacer afavorecidos para ti. Okay, to give you their wealth. Para, para que te den su riqueza. Okay. Now let's take this gold. Vamos a tomar este oro. And turn to James chapter 4. Vamos a Santiago capítulo 4. Verse 6 through 10. Versículo 6 al 10. Okay. Let's do this one first. James 4, verse 6 through 10. Santiago 4, de 6 al 10. James 4. Santiago 4. But the grace he gives is greater, which is why it says, God opposes the arrogant, but to the humble he gives grace. Therefore, submit to God, more, but take a stand against the adversary. He will flee from you. Come close to God, and he will come close to you. Clean your hands, sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded people. Well, mourn, sob, let your laughter be turned into mourning, and your joy into gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. What it's saying is that if... Once 
you've totally poured yourself out. Lo que está diciendo que que este cuando este completamente te vacías. And you humble yourself. Y te humillas. Um, then you will be blessed. Entonces serás bendecido. But only. Pero solamente. Only if you totally yield to his ways. Solamente si si totalmente te somete a sus a sus caminos. Then look at verse 10. Entonces miras el capítulo 10. Humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. To lift you up. Te levantarás. After things have been taken away from you. Después que co las cosas se te han sido quitado. Okay. Then you get the riches. Entonces recibes la las riquezas. And even if you don't get the riches here, y aunque no reciba las riquezas aquí, you're going to live in heaven where there's a street paved with gold. Vas a vivir en el cielo a donde hay un, un camino este hecho de oro. Okay? So he does return it to you if you live your life for him. Él sí te lo regresa si vives tu vida por él. Oh, please, start another song. Going back to Exodus 11. Eh, regresando a Éxodo 11, capítulo 11, yeah. half hour on the same song but you think you're Led Zeppelin playing Stairway to Heaven Exodus 11 Exodus capítulo 11 verse 3 through 5 versículos 3 al 5 Jehovah made the Egyptians favorably disposed toward the people. Moreover, Moshe was regarded by Pharaoh's servants and the people as a very great man in the land of Egypt. Moshe said, here's what Jehovah says. About midnight, I will go out into Egypt and all the firstborn of the land of Egypt will die. From the firstborn of Pharaoh sitting on his throne to the firstborn of the slave girl, the handmill, and all the firstborn of the livestock. So when this occurred, and it really did occur, so cuando esto ocurrió y verdaderamente ocurrió, not just Pharaoh's child died. No solamente el hijo de Faraón murió. God completely took every firstborn. Dios completamente se, se este, mató a, a todos los primogénitos. Why did he do this? ¿Por qué hizo esto? Why did he do this? ¿Por qué hizo esto? Why do you think he did this? Go ahead, Ben. Because the blessing stood with the firstborn. The blessing stayed with the so firstborn. So he took he took he took the blessing that that belonged to the firstborn. He took it away from them. Well, the firstborn normally gets a double portion. Right. Okay. Yeah, a double portion. Uh, Ruth. Because he's taking something that is so precious. Because he's taking something that is so precious. Porque ese es su primer. Y ya, y ya cuando se lo quite no hay más nada para vivir. Well, you got the other four children. Pero tiene los otros cuatro hijos. Well, the, the firstborn of Pharaoh is heir to the throne, not the other four. Right. But this happened to not just Pharaoh. To everybody. To everybody in Egypt. Firstborn is dedicated to God. But que, these are pagan. Que primero es dedicado a Dios, pero estos son paganos. Did they know Torah? Ellos sabían Torah. Torah lived in their heart. To Torah vivió en su corazón. Torah lives in everybody's heart. Torah vive en, en el corazón de todos. Okay, because how did Noah know how to get seven clean animals? Porque porque no no ha este supo este buscar siete animales limpios. Okay, so here. Pues aquí. But what about the animals? Pero qué y qué de los animales? Why the animals? Porque los animales. Says the firstborn uh, of the livestock. Because the firstborn belong belong to God. The first animals, those are his. 
Let's go further. But in Torah. In Torah. What about the pagans? Okay, que, que tiene, él dijo que tiene que romper el, el, el cuello, pero eso es Torah. ¿Y qué de los paganos? What about, the, what about there? Taking away their money. Le está quitando su dinero. Because you might have enough money to get that firstborn. Porque a lo mejor tiene suficiente dinero para conseguir ese prim, el, el primogénito. But as you, you're trying to grow your, your herd. Pero si está tratando de crecer tu, tu, tu manada. That tu fir, their first cow dies. Tu primer, va, tu primer vaca muere. Okay. Because they're the firstborn of the livestock. Que dice el, el, el primer nacido del, del ganado. That's your, that's, that's the beginning of your, how you made money. Es el comienzo de cómo tú haces tu dinero. Now what about, why did it touch all of the Egyptians? ¿Por qué tocó a todos los egipcios? Okay, uh, everybody has Torah in their heart. Diana, everybody has Torah in their heart. For God is just. Go ahead. Be because all the Egyptians lived their lives serving strange gods. They didn't recognize the one true God. Yes. Okay, que, que los egipcios este, vivieron su vida adorando a dioses ajenos, no al, al verdadero Dios. What else? ¿Qué más? Why everybody? ¿Por qué todos? Por, right. Por Faraón, porque era su líder. Porque no está bajo su, su pacto. But did they elect Pharaoh? Pero ellos elegieron a, a Faro. I mean, we elected this idiot that's in the presidency. Nosotros ele elegimos este idiota que está en la presidencia. Pharaoh was anointed. Faraón fue ungido. To be king. A ser rey. What's it saying? ¿Qué dice? What is God doing? ¿Qué está haciendo Dios? A whole empire, everybody in Egypt. Un imperio entero, todo el mundo en Egipto. And Egypt wasn't just what we see today, it was bigger. Y Egipto no es lo que vemos hoy, era más grande. So what's it saying? So ¿Qué dice? What's God doing? ¿Qué está haciendo Dios? He wanted everybody to know that he separates his people. Él quería que todo, todos supieran que él separa su gente. And here's where people go, well, you know, it, the plagues are, you know, you know, it was an earthquake that started this, that started that, that started this. Que la gente dice que las plagas fue un terremoto que comenzó esto, comenzó lo otro y comenzó lo otro. Then how does every firstborn die and not y, the secondborn? Y entonces cómo es que todos los primogénitos mueren y no el, el, el que nació segundo. Checkmate. That's how you get these people. Así es que tú logra, Because they eh, try to explain it away that it was a volcano Porque that started this. Then how did the firstborn livestock and the firstborn humans die of everybody? Where if you were a firstborn, que si tú era un, un prim, el, but you're 40, nacido, pero eres 40 and you lived in Egypt, y tú en Egipto, you're dead. Tú but if you're a firstborn baby, Pero si eres un bebé, you're dead too. De, eres so you can't say it was age-related. So no That's one of the other reasons that God has us here. Eso es otra razón por la cual Dios tiene esta because aquí. science tries to explain away the Bible. Dios trata, la ciencia trata de explicar, este, a, a, a des, desacreditar la Biblia. Okay. Um, now we're going to look at midnight. Ahora vamos a ver anochecer. Turn to Psalm 119. Vamos al Salmo 119. Psalm 119, verse 62. Salmo 119, versículo 62. So 
Psalm 119, verse 62. Salmo 119, versículo 62. 914 in the CJB. 914 in the CJB. Now, uh, Psalm 119, verse 62. At midnight I shall rise to give thanks to you because of your righteous ordinances. God's judgments are correct. Los juicios de Dios son correctos. Psalm 119, verse 62. Salmo 119, versículo 62. At midnight I shall rise to give you thanks to you because of your righteous ordinances. So it, midnight is a time to thank God. Y el anochecer es un tiempo para darle gracias a Dios. Why is that? Porque because God separated his people from the Egyptian people at midnight. Porque Dios separó su gente de los egipcios en la, en la anochecer. So here the, the writer of Psalm 119 so aquí el escritor de, de Salmo 119 is saying está diciendo, give thanks to the Lord. Dale gracias a Dios. Give thanks to him. Dale gracias a él. Turn to Matthew 25. Vamos a Mateo 25. Verse 6. Versículo 6. Psalm 25. Salmo. I mean, 25, sorry, Matthew 25. Mateo 25, versículo 6. 6. 1256 in the CJB. 1256. Okay. Um, one second. Hallelujah. Want to answer a question over here? Okay. Uh, somebody was asking the definition of the ordinances. <coughs> the ordinances, Tammy, or who's ever over there at the Bush House, is Miss Pot. The judgment, the justice, the act of deciding a case. Okay, so God's laws. This is what uh, this, the writer of the psalm is saying. Okay, Matthew 25, verse 6. Mateo 25, versículo 6. But at midnight there was a shout. Behold, the bridegroom comes out. Come, uh, bride, the, behold, the bridegroom. Come out to meet him. Matthew 25, verse 6. But at midnight... There was a shout, Behold the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Why is this at midnight? Porque esto es al anochecer. Because Yeshua, being a Jew, Porque Yeshua, siendo judío, is reminding the Jews he's speaking to le está a los judíos a quien él está hablando, to come into his place and separate yourself que entres a, a su lugar y que se separen, in the darkness en la oscuridad, to go with your bridegroom. Que entres con tu novio, and follow his ordinances. Y siga sus ordenanzas. Because this is the part, of the, the, the ten, the ten uh, virgins. Esta es la parte de las diez vírgenes. And five were wise. Cinco eran astutas. And five were foolish. Y cinco eran insensatas. Or in the Greek, the word oh. moros is used for foolish. O en el griego, la palabra moros es usada para insensatos. And this, and this is where we get the word moron. Y esto es a donde... Con, este, te, tenemos la palabra morón. Okay. So what he's saying is meet him at midnight. Separate yourself. Lo que él está diciendo, encuéntrate con él en la noche, él, sepárate. When, it, when it's dark outside. Cuando está oscuro afuera. When I'm separating my people. Cuando estoy separando mi gente, mi pueblo. Follow pobre. your bridegroom. Sigue tu novio. And who's the bridegroom? ¿Y quién es el novio? Yeshua is the bridegroom. Yeshua es el, es Follow el his novio. ways. Siga su camino. Now turn to Mark 13. Ahora vamos a Marco 16. Mark 13. I mean 13. Verse 35. 1281. 1281. Ooh, you beat you. <laughs> Mark 13, 13, verse 35. Marco 13, versículo 35. Excuse me. Yeah. 
in the Exodus scripture? Midnight. That's it what says we got. Eleven. Eleven four. Eleven four. Yes. Shemot eleven four. Yes, midnight. Chatzot. Is chatzot? Chatzot. Chatzot. Chet sade vav tet. Chatzot means the half, the division. So that's where we get midnight. Right. Okay. Got it, Adriana? Yes. Okay. Now we go to the Mark scripture, Mark thirteen, verse thirty-five. Therefore be uh, on the alert, for you do not know when the master of the house is coming, whether in the evening, at midnight, or when the rooster crows, or in the morning. So once again, Yeshua is talking to Jewish people. De nuevo, Yeshua le está hablando a la gente judía. Why did, would he say evening and midnight? Porque él diría este, tardecer y anochecer. What are we to do at evening? ¿Qué estamos supuesto a hacer en la noche, en la tarde ser? How Shema. is this tying together with what we just read in Exodus? Shema, right? No. Oh, no, the Passover. Yeah, what well, Oscar said. Yeah. At the Passover, you're supposed to have the Passover at evening. Está supuesto tener la Pascua en, el, en la tarde ser. Right, when it begins to get dark. Cuando empieza a oscurecer. Then at midnight. Entonces a la medianoche. For you don't know when the master is coming. Cuando no sabe si el maestro viene. So he sent the angel of death at midnight. So él envió el ángel de la muerte a, en, Or as en la medianoche. Okay. All right. Um, Yo no, yo no he escuchado otras congregaciones que enseñan eso. Teach what? The, you know, the past one needs to be done in 90 minutes. Que la Pascua tiene yeah, que hacer. Like like 90 minutes. That's right. They don't even need to hear. They're like, they hear whatever. <laughs> They're doing tradition. Yeah. Porque hacen tra tradición. I don't do tradition here. El, yo no hago tradición. I do what it says. I take the word as literal. Exactly. Yo tomo la palabra literalmente. So when Yeshua said cut your hand off, he meant it. So cuando Yeshua dice cortate la mano, because it'll be a reminder. Era cortarte la mano. Don't do that. Porque sería un, un acordatorio. He'd rather have you maimed. Él, él prefiere que entres este manco, 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 and get into heaven. Y que entres al cielo. Then not get into heaven. Que no entrar al cielo. Okay, so um, I don't know why people just don't read it and go with what it says. Yo no sé por qué la gente no lo leen y ha hacen lo que dice. I guess that's why he keeps growing us. Y por eso creo que nos sigue creciendo. And a lot of the other Messianic congregations are not growing. Y los otros congregaciones mesiánicos, because what? they're not growing. No están creciendo. Because what occurs porque lo que ocurre is people are searching for the truth. La gente está este, buscando la verdad. And when they ask you a question y cuando te hacen una pregunta and you can't point directly to the scripture y no puedes enseñarla la escritura why you're doing it por qué lo estás haciendo it puts doubt in their mind. Pone duda en sus mentes. So I do things that I can point to. So yo hago cosas que, que puedo enseñar. It says evening on the 14th day. Dice en la tarde del, del día 14. So that means you're already in the 14th day. Eso quiere decir que ya está en el día 14. You know, and that's what we go with. I don't know why. Yo no, yo no sé por qué. Because no most hacer. people fear, most leaders fear men more than they fear God. Muchos líderes este, temen más al hombre que a Dios. Okay. You know, and that's what it comes down to. Y, y de eso se trata. All right. Um, let's go back to Shemot 11, verse 6. Vamos a uh, Éxodo 11, versículo 6. Shemot 11, 
verse 6. Exodus 11, versículo 6. Yes, Mishpatim there, the um, Bush household, Mishpatim. Battery's Mish about to die. All right, well, if it does, I'll go get another one. Is it blinking? Yeah, it's blinking. Blinking like nothing? Yeah, nothing. Tristan, could you please uh, bring some two double A's from that little bag in my office, please? There will be, there will be horrendous wailing throughout all the land of Egypt. There has never been another like it, and there will be ne ne then there will never be again. That's a beautiful thing. Esto es una cosa bella. That God's not going to do this same thing over again. Que Dios yeah. no va a hacer lo mismo de nuevo. Because every family was was touched by what happened. Porque cada familia fue afectada por lo que pasó. And a horrendous wailing. Y uh, un, un, un llanto horrible. Thank you. Okay. Um, change it? Yeah, just change it. Well, uh, yeah, you already turned it off. Go ahead. Just push, don't slap. It was all the children. The Magi, after the Magi came? Okay, it wasn't the firstborn, it was all the children. No eran los primogénitos, eran todos los niños. Yes, sir. The firstborn. Cuando el hijo, el primer nacido, eran los niños o las niñas también. So we're going back to uh, Exodus 11. Vamos a Exodus 11. 11, 5. 11, versículo 5. Bekor. Bekor. Meaning firstborn of men and women. Significando el primer nacido de hombres y mujeres. And that's specific there, Bekor. Y eso especifica, especifico so ahí, it, Bekor. It's not saying Bene. No está diciendo Bene. Okay. Bet, uh, Kaf, Vav, Resh, Bekor. Bet, Kaf, Vav, Resh, Bekor. Okay. Of men and animals. De mujer, de hombres y mujeres and y animales. Let me just uh, double check it in the in actual Hebrew scroll. Yeah, it's bed, uh, kaf, vav, resh in the Hebrew scroll. And in the in the in the rollo Hebreo is bekor. My methodology is read CJB, double check it with NASB, and then actually go to the Hebrew scroll. La metodología mía es este leerlo en el CJB, chequearlo con el NASB y después compararlo. Con el rollo hebreo. Because sometimes you get like here a yod at the end of the word. Porque a veces aquí este este ves que hay un yod al final de la de la palabra. But the core is meaning men and women. Pero the core significa hombre y mujer. Okay. I know it's only the men, you know, in some in the movie. Yo sé que es solamente los hombres en las películas. But if we're going here with the verse, the, the word is specific to men and women, the Pero firstborn si, of men and women and of animals. Si vamos aquí en la escritura es específicamente hombre y mujer, de hombre y mujer y animales. Okay, so every household was touched. So cada, cada familia fue afectada. And wailing means you're going to be like shedding a lot of tears, right? Y, y llanto significa que vas a derramar muchas lágrimas. You know, for a firstborn son, right? Para un primer nacido. Now, why is that important? Porque eso es importante. Turn to Zechariah 12. Vamos a Zac Zacarías 12. Zechariah 12. Zacarías 12. Verse 10. Versículo 10. Zechariah 12, verse 10. Zac Zacarías 12, versículo 10. Can he beat her? She's typing 782. 
782 in CJB, that is correct. 782. Thank you. <laughs> now I have four out on the house. I'll let Jose find it. Zechariah 12, verse 10. And I will pour out on the house of David and then those living in Jerusalem the spirit of grace and prayer. And they will look to me, whom they pierce. They will mourn for him as one mourns for an only son. They will be in bitterness on his behalf, like the bitterness of a firstborn son. Wailing because they're looking at Yeshua now. Llanto porque están mirando a Yeshua ahora. Okay. Okay, so that's why the wailing well, we see the wailing in the Exodus scripture. Porque uh, es, por, uh, esto, es por esto que vemos el, llan, el llanto en la escritura de Éxodo. All right, let's, uh, here we go again. Let's go jump back to Exodus 12 now. Vamos de nuevo a Éxodo 12. Exodus 12, verse 1 and 2. Exodus 12, verse 1 and 2. Spanish people are great actors. Jehovah spoke to Moshe and Aaron in the land of Egypt, and he said, You're to begin your calendar with this month. It will be the first month of the year for you. Now, I know a lot of people, when they start walking the messianic walk, Yo sé que mucha gente cuando comienzan el camino mesiánico they, they look at the Jews, miran a los judíos and they go, well, they're celebrating the new year in the fall. Están celebrando el año nuevo en el otoño. God does not want that. Dios no quiere eso. That is a rabbinic teaching. Eso es enseñanza rabínica. And it is an error. Y es un error. Okay. God is saying very specifically, oh, look, they're doing the same song again, too. <laughs> oh, God, Lord. <laughs> it's the only song the drummer knows how to play. No, the drummer's okay. The singers are hard. They're too loud. They're not singers. Um, so, God is saying here Dios está diciendo aquí, that the month that we're going to be celebrating Passover, that is the beginning of your year. Que el mes en que vamos a celebrar la Pascua, ese es el comienzo del año. Um, and why he's having it in the spring that your new year is beginning. Y por, why is he having no, it? No, he's having it oh, in the spring. Que él, lo, él, él, él lo tiene en la primavera, el nuevo año que comienza. Because it's after the death of winter. Porque es después de la muerte del invierno. That things are beginning. Que las cosas comienzan. That the trees are beginning to bud. Que las, los árboles están comenzando a florecer. The the life is coming back. La vida está regresando. Why would he have the beginning of the year when everything is dying? Porque él tendrá el, el comienzo del año cuando todo se está muriendo. Okay. So also in the Hebrew. También en el Hebreo. What it says for verse 2. Lo que dice para versículo 2. Is Rosh Chodesh. Es Rosh Chodesh. Chodeshin. Chodeshin. Chodesh. Rosh means head. Rosh significa cabeza. Chodesh is month. Chodesh es mes. Chodeshim means months. Chodeshim significa meses. Okay, so this 
is to be the head of your month. Esto es que, que sea la cabeza de tus meses. Okay. Uh, we went over this on Shabbat. Um, let's go to verse 6 and 7. Vamos al versículo 6 y 7. Exodus capítulo 12. You are to keep it until the 14th day of the month, and then the entire assembly of the community of Israel will slaughter it at dusk. They are to take some of the blood and smear it on the two sides and top of the door frame at the entrance of the house, which they eat it. Okay? Now, a lot of people have a problem with this. Mucha gente tiene un problema con esto. Okay? Um, God is saying for us to keep doing this. Dios nos está diciendo que siga haciendo esto. Later in the chapter 12 of Exodus. Después en el capítulo 12 de Éxodo. Okay. God says you're to do this ceremony. Dios dice que tienes que hacer esta ceremonia. What is the ceremony? ¿Qué es la ceremonia? Okay, the ceremony will be eating the maror, the bitter herbs. La ceremonia será comerse las hierbas amargas. Eating the lamb. Comiéndose el cordero. Eating the The matzah, comiéndose el matzah, e and eating the lamb. Y Did comiéndose lamb? el col, yeah, you said that. Okay, you got the maror, the matzah, the lamb. Tiene la, las hierbas amargas, eh, la matzah, el cordero. And you got the parsley. Y el perejil. Okay, for the tears. In the what? For the tears. Con, con, o para, for, para las lágrimas. Okay, so here, okay. when people say, I don't want to put the blood on the door. Cuando la gente dice no quiero poner la sangre en la puerta. Because Messiah put his blood on the wood. Porque Mesías puso su sangre en, la, en el madero. Then why did Messiah then say, do this in remembrance of me? Y entonces por qué Mesías dijo que hagas esto de, de, en acordatorio mío. So if you're, you're not doing the ceremony, si no estás haciendo la ceremonia, and you're not putting the blood on your si door, no está poniendo la sangre en tu puerta, then you are in disobedience to the law. Entonces está en desobediencia al Señor. Because when you're putting the blood on your door, you are remembering what Yeshua Porque did cuando for you. Pones la sangre en tu puerta, estás acordándote de lo que Yeshua hizo. Okay, here is the chart in the bottom of page 24. Aquí está el, el, ¿qué? el diagrama. De, de lo que dice que capítulo 4 ok versículo 4 página 4 sorry ok página 24 no, uh, 20, I'm sorry, 26. 26 ok página 26 see the earth is a ball eh, la tierra es una, un globo ok so the way you see the horizon is como, a straight line como ves el horizonte es una línea recta As we see here in, in the chart. Así como vemos en el diagrama. So you have sunset. Ahí tienes el. Which begins at the horizon. El, el qué? La caída del sol. And que then, comienza en el, en el horizonte. And that is the that is the dusk. Y ese es el atardecer. Okay. So between that horizon. Entre el horizonte. And when the sun goes around the ball, y cuando el sol le da la vuelta al globo, where you don't see the sun anymore, a donde no ves el, ya no ves el sol, so from this point, de ese punto, to where you don't see it anymore, hasta donde no se ve, is about 90 minutes. Es como no, es aproximadamente 90 minutos. So that's why it says at dusk. Por eso que dice at al atardecer. You're to kill the Passover. As, tienes que matar el, el Pascua. Okay, and then, You're, the, you know, God had us at first Passover eat it in that 90 minutes. Y el primer Pascua, Dios nos dijo que nos comiera el, la Pascua en 90 minutos. Okay, Matthew 27, Mateo 27, verse 35, versículo 35. As we're done, we're going to go down there. I got to see if they're going to keep doing this every Tuesday. All right. Matthew 27, verse 35. Mateo 27, versículo 35. If 
after they had nailed him to the cross, they divided his clothes among them by throwing dice. When did Yeshua go to the cross? ¿Cuándo fue que Yeshua fue a, a, a la cruz? What day, what day was it? Not the day of the week. What, what day on the calendar was it? Masa. Masa. Right? When did he go? He went to the cross on Hag Matzah. So he ate the Passover. Right. Went through all his trials. Went to Pilate. Went to Herod. Yes, Daniel. Oh, que este, okay. El comió la Pascua. Fue a uh, este. He ate the, the Passover. He ate the Passover. Went out to. Gethsemane. Fue, fue al jardín de Gethsemane. Then they came and arrested him. Después lo arrestaron. They went through all his trials. Fue por todos los juicios. This is now Hag Matzah. Esto es ahora Hag Matzah. So when you're putting the blood on your door, so cuando está poniendo la sangre en tu puerta, you're remembering that's the day he went out to the cross for us. Que te estás acordando que ese fue el día que él fue a la cruz por nosotros. This is what's so sad about the church. Esto es lo que es triste de la de la iglesia. Because they don't do the Passover on the right day. Porque ellos no hacen el, la Pascua en el en el día correcto. Nor do they eat the lamb on the right day. Tampoco they don't comen eat el cordero en el día apropiado. Okay. Okay. Now go to Exodus. Back to Exodus, please. Ahora vamos a Éxodo. Regresemos a Éxodo. 12, verse 13. Cap, versículo 13. Exodus 12, verse 13. Exodus 12, versículo 13. The blood will serve to you as a sign marking the houses where you are. When I see the blood... I will pace off over you. When I strike the land of Egypt, the death blow will not strike you. This was a separation of our homes compared to those who were not part of the covenant. Esto fue una separación de nuestros hogares este, con los de aquellos que no fueron parte del pacto. The blood marks our homes. La sangre marca nuestros hogares. And God said, y Dios dijo, that I still do this to this day. Que yo este, hago esto hasta este día. In Exodus 12, if you read the whole chapter, en Exodus 12, si lees el capítulo entero, which we don't have time to do right now, que ahorita no tenemos tiempo para hacer, okay, we, um, he says he does it until this very day. Él dice que él lo hace hasta este mismo día. It's the night he watches over Israel. Es la noche que él vela sobre Israel. Let me just get it for you, so around a little bit. It's the latter part of the chapter. If you look at verse 42, Exodus 12, verse 42. Si miras el versículo 42 del capítulo 12 de Éxodo. And this is why we still do it. Y esto es porque todavía los hace, lo hacemos. This was the night when Jehovah kept vigil to bring them out of the land of Egypt. And this same night continues to be a night when Jehovah keeps vigil for all the people of Israel through all their generations. This is why we still do it. Esto es porque todavía lo hacemos. Did God not know that his son Messiah Yeshua would come? Dios no sabía que su hijo Mesías iba a venir. So God is still watching over us. So Dios todavía está velando uh, sobre nosotros. When we do this this year, y cuando hacemos esto este año, you will be looking at our house here. Él va a estar mirando nuestro hogar aquí. To see if you follow the commandments. A ver si tú sigues los mandamientos. To see if you did what was right. A ver si has hecho lo que es correcto. Let's go back to verse 14. Vamos 
se regresó al versículo 14. This will be a day for you to remember and celebrate as a festival to Jehovah from generation to generation. You are to celebrate it by a perpetual regulation. That means forever. Eso significa para siempre. So anybody who says that they belong to Messiah. So el que dice que pertenece a Mesías. If you don't do this day. Si no hace este día. Then you are not going to be getting into heaven. Entonces no vas a entrar al cielo. Because God said you're to do this forever. Porque Dios dijo que tienes que hacer esto para siempre. And um, Messiah even reminded us y Mesías nos recordó at the last Passover en, el ulti, en la última Pascua that do this in remembrance of me. Que hagas esto en, en, en acordatorio mío. That you should do this ceremony. Que debes de hacer esta ceremonia. The telling of the whole story. El, el cuento de, de la historia completa. The eating of the lamb. El, el, el comien, comiendo el cordero. With Messiah right in the middle of it. Con Mesías en el mismo medio. Verse 15. Versículo 15. It'll be our last verse that we're going to look at. Último versículo que vamos a mirar. For seven days you are to eat matzah. On the first day remove the leaven from your houses. For whoever eats comets or leavening from the first to the seventh day is to be cut off from Israel. That's pretty serious chastisement. Esa disciplina es bastante seria. For eating a piece of leavened bread. Por comer un pedazo de, de pan con levadura. Why do you think it's so serious? ¿Por qué crees que es tan serio? Ben. Because yeast represents sin. And you're ingesting sin when you're trying to be pure. You're trying to take out the sin from your, from your life. Well, it does, but for a piece of bread? Well, the, the bread represents Messiah's body. This is my body. will be given up here. But he was saying this before that. What do you think, Oscar? Porque él dijo que si fuera, tuviera fiel con los pequeños, con los pocos. Adriana? Why is he saying it specifically for right after the Passover? The cut off is um, eliminated, Tammy. Para redimir. Limpio, pureza. He's saying it because you're beginning your walk with God. Lo está diciendo porque está comenzando tu camino con Dios. You're remembering where you came from. Te estás acordando de a dónde vienes. And he doesn't want anything added to his word. Que no quiere nada añadido a su palabra. When you're walking with him. Cuando está caminando con él. That's why in Revelation it says do not add or subtract from por this es, word. Por eso que en Apocalipsis dice no añades o, qui o, o quitar, quitarás de esta palabra. This is what Torah says, do not add or subtract from Esto my lo word. Que dice Torah, que no añades o quites de, de esta palabra. So the leavening, so what is matzah? So que es matzah? Flour and water, that's it. Harina y agua, eso es todo. That's it, nothing else. Eh, eso es todo, más nada. It's very simple. Es bien simple. So God wants flour so Dios quiere harina and the water of life y la agua de la vida for that that seven days por esos siete días so it's simple so it's simple keep keep it simple stupid manténlo simple estúpido 
Con Dios el método del beso. Keep it simple, stupid. Manténlo simple, estúpido. You know, why, you know, Messiah says to Judas, Yehuda, que Mesías le dice a Judá, Would you betray me with a kiss? Me, me, me entregarás con un beso? You should have kept it simple, stupid. Lo hubieras mantenido simple, estúpido. See how simple it is? Ve que, ve que simple God es. said do it. It's Dios not dijo, hard. Dios dijo, dijo hazlo. No es, no es difícil. Okay, uh, one quick question. Uh, Hassan, you got a quick question? Una, that I can una pregunta. Yeah, when we make our matzah, then we do the flour, the water, and the oil. Where does it, where's the chapter and verse that says just flour and water only? You, you can add oil to it because you do have that in Leviticus, the oil to the offering. Le puede añadir aceite porque en Levítico dice que le puede añadir la aceite la, a la ofrenda. But no, no leavening at all. Pero no levadura. Okay. Um, all right. Let's just uh, wrap this up. I'm very sorry for the noise. I'm going to go talk to the pastor downstairs to see what they're going to be doing so we can decide what we're going to be doing and where we're going to. We've invited them. They're pagan. It's a, it's a two, but I mean, if it were, if it were Shabbat, I would have went down there and beat people up. No, literally, I'll take you out. I'm going to throw your head through a wall and you can take that. Um, but it's, it's a Tuesday. I just want to know what you're doing because you haven't done this before. And now that we moved into this new space, I know God is testing me in my patience and he's also testing you. Can you focus? through the noise. That's also one of the biggest keys coming up is can you focus through the noise? Mm -hmm. Okay. I just want to know what he's doing because I could probably set us up over there. I want it here, but I can always set it up in another spot. Hey, right, let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings today. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you, Lord, for uh, this wonderful trial. In your name, Yeshua. Amen. Shalom. This is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to The Remnant's Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, bethgoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings, learned more about Him today, we are blessed. If you are blessed by these messages, please consider a donation to our ministry. You can go to our website, bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M dot org. And click on the donate button. You do not have to have a PayPal account to donate. All you need is a debit card. Once again, thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call. If you have not taken your first steps to be born again, just ask God's help. Remember, it's His loving grace that has come to find you. No one is worthy or able to reach God, but God can reach us, and He's reaching out to you now. Just open your heart and let Him in. His arms are open, and the blessing of salvation and eternal life are waiting for you. Don't let it wait any longer. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you his shalom. 
Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles, living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture, truly the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend the day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our King praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word, not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there. Because Shabbat is so special to him, there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our king's word. We close this Shabbat together with a reading of the new week's parashah. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and biblical holy day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. Our phone number is 973-338-7800 or 978-2-YESHUA. That's 978, the number 2, Yeshua. Shalom.